Hey guys, what is up? This is Matt the Davis, the movie lover here. Welcome back to another movie review. And this is going to be on Mortal Kombat, which is the 1995 film. The reason why I'm reviewing this film, and uh, if I was going to review Mortal Kombat Annihilation, I had to review this film first. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. This film was directed by Paul W.S. Anderson, who's known to me making the... who directed Event Horizon, which is a film that I thought was pretty underrated, and the Resident Evil films, which I only liked the first one. The rest of them can go suck my balls, for all I care. But anyways, uh... This film is about three, uh... reluctant fighters who are drafted for... An, intergalactic martial arts tournament that will determine the fate of humanity race in this film inspired by the popular and notoriously bloody video games except here's one thing that is now what makes this film different from the video game is it's not even bloody there's no gore there's no guts it's pg pg-13 when all the video games are gory as hell. Like the new game Mortal Kombat X, it is extremely bloody and extremely violent. So, let's just bring this for kiddies. Oh, because, you know, kids secretly play the games and while their parents aren't around. The SNES version didn't even have blood in it. But Mortal Kombat provides a semblance of a plot as an excuse for a rampant mayhem with the evil alien forces challenging humanity to a kung fu battle because that's what happened in the games, right? Aliens are in the game, right? Uh, to decide the Earth's fate following the failure of several previous human defenders, mankind's last chances lies with Egotistical action film star Johnny Cage, played by played by Lyndon Ashby, tough but beautiful special agent Sonya Blade, play, played by Bridget Wilson, and vengeance-minded hero Liu Kang, played by Robert Chu, under the guidance of inspiration sorcerer Lord Raiden, played by Christopher Lambert. This unlikely trio bases off against a series of terrifying alien adversaries, as in the video game, the martial arts battle are the true point, with standard fighting combining with magical touches supplied by computer-generated effects. And the dramatic content often resembles a Saturday morning cartoon, but Jonathan Scott Carson's appropriately dank production design and the visual Spectacular battle sequences made the film a hit amongst younger fantasy action fans, spawning a sequel and a TV show, but it was panned by critics, unfortunately. I can't say that I disagree with them, although I'm not going to go bashing on this film because it's kind of entertaining to watch. I mean, this film just has really bad CGI. It really does. There was this one scene with Scorpion, and when that little thing comes out of his mouth, it looks comes out of his hand. That little thing comes out of his hand. It looks totally. It looks so. It doesn't even look like it's coming out of him, and it just goes get over here and stuff like that. And just uh, this film. If this film were to be like the games, give it an. They should have given it an R rating. It, it wouldn't make it any better. Actually, it kind of would, but... It still doesn't hide the fact that... The acting is very cheesy. It is a cheesy movie. But if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, you will enjoy this movie. I haven't really played the games that much, but... I can say I might see myself watching this again... Because it is... Funny. This is a really funny and comedic movie that's just... But... Here's the thing, will I watch it, like, all the time? No, but I will say this, 
is not a good movie, that's for sure. It's not a good movie. But I will tell you this, though. It's better than most vi movies based off video games today. It's way better, in, at least in my opinion. I like it more. I thought it was better than Assassin's Creed or Doom or Angry Birds, Ratchet and Clank. Or It's better than all four of those movies. And it certainly is hell better than Alone in the Dark. But it's certainly... I can, I can accept this because the, the CGI does look like on how it's truly made for the 1990s. Even though Jurassic Park was made two years before this movie, and that looks way better, but... Anyways, I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to give it a 3 out of 5. It is a terrible movie, but it is a really entertaining one. Just for the hell of it. So yeah, that's all that I have to say, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.